Cal ISO is predicting significant summer power outages during hot days. The agency says California could be 1700 megawatts short of what it needs for the power grid to properly function. CBS 13's Laura Hafley is live in Arden Arcade tonight getting answers on what that means for you. Laura. Well, as the summertime gets closer, people are going to start scrambling into hardware stores like this one to get those generators and batteries because as temperatures rise, those outages are going to become more frequent. The rush to ready for summer is on. Especially with the blackouts, uh, it's some of our busiest days. For 115 years, Emmy Hardware in Sacramento has provided peace of mind to customers on hot summer days. People are flying in trying to get anything they get their hands on uh, to get back to a normal life. Uh, we love helping out the community and, and helping customers uh, get ready for the blackouts. So this is just some of the stuff that Californians can have in their home to prepare for outages, right? Yeah. So here we have a you know, traditional generator uh, that can power your home. You have some staple household items, right? We should all have these, which are? Batteries. It's always good to have kind of a large supply of batteries. We know about our state's energy needs. I think it's on all Californians to really have the preparedness and uh, make sure that we're, we're, we're ready for those days. But will the state be ready to prevent blackouts? Cal ISO, the agency managing the power grid, says on really hot days, we could be 1,700 megawatts short of what the grid needs to fully function. So what does that mean? Just one megawatt is enough electricity to power 750 homes. Whenever there is a heat event, that's when the grid is being taxed the most. UC Davis professor of economic development Keith Taylor says increased energy use like blasting air conditioning or refrigeration could lead to issues. And when you have 40 million people doing it at the same time, that's a lot of stress in the entire system. Taylor says the state's lack of energy options like solar and wind and the inability to borrow power from other states makes for a perfect storm. These other states are also going to be dealing with their own power shortage issues. So I think that there's going to be a limited amount of chaos on the horizon as well. The Diablo Canyon power plant in San Luis Obispo is online. That power plant generates nuclear power and could help with outages, though Cal ISO admits that the power grid will be pushed to its limits. Well, this certainly should be a wake-up call across the state. Uh, all right, Laura, thanks so much for that live report.